everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or wherever you're watching this from uh, today i wanted to take you on a studio tour um, this is a pretty small space but i managed to fit everything i need in here and i have a lot of spaces that sort of serve dual purposes and a lot of tricks and hacks that uh, help me to keep everything organized so let me show you around the first area i'm going to show you is my desk slash a million other things it's this new piece I just got from Ikea that I've been wanting for a long time and I'm so glad I got it. It's the Ivar cabinet and it holds everything and I even use the top as a desk so it's just like exactly what I needed and it's awesome. Oh and the chair is this really cool um, piece. My boyfriend actually found two of them on the street in our neighborhood and it was like the best street find. Um, so this one's still going strong. So let's see, on top I have my journal which I go through journals like monthly I just write everything down constantly um, I'm like a recovering note addict um, this is where I keep files some just like inspiring family pictures and then a bunch of random things like this mini level which is one of my favorite things I've ever found uh, just like a neon level which I think everyone needs um, I keep like crystals obviously because this is LA and my moldable eraser anyone who's like ever done art I'm sure you know how amazing these are and if you haven't check these out these erasers are like the greatest invention um, and I keep lots of little like hardware and things I need while I'm making my art um, oh and then this mug is amazing I found it in my parents house when we were doing a little Marie Kondo clear out. It's from the assisted living home where my great grandmother lived in Philadelphia. So any Philly people watching, cheers. Um, and this is my computer, obviously. So this is where I do most of my kind of like administrative work. Um, so let's go inside and see what's in here. So like I said, this is a piece I've been wanting for a while just because I needed a place to store lots of different things. On the top shelf I have um, my smaller prints of my art, um, which are available on my Etsy shop and on my website. Um, I get them printed here in LA at a place called Art Printer. And so I store them on this shelf to keep them out of the paint, out of the dust area, like keep them super clean. Um, and then this shelf is obviously just a, an assortment of everything I need. It's just messy sketchbooks and old paint trays and just kind of like a mixture of whatever I might need while I'm making. Um, these are kind of weird but <laughs> you might have seen in some of my videos I use the ends of rubber gloves while I'm sewing just to like give myself an easier grip on the needle so that's a trick for any sewers or embroiderers out there. Um, and also this is one of my favorite things um, I had an idea for. These are little clips that you can buy for the Ikea piece and I thought they'd be perfect for storing my rulers. Um, and you'll see I have like six rulers. I just <laughs> need so many um, just for constantly making sure things are straight and they're the right length and I go a little overboard. Um, and down here in this shelf I have a saw, obviously. Um, some packaging for sending out prints, and then my big beautiful box of paints, um, which I love and I just have every color I need. And then this box I store sort of hardware um, for hanging prints and or for hanging paintings and mounting them. And then I have a huge stack of magazines in the back um, for making collages which I haven't done in a little while, but it's one of my favorite things to do, so I'd really like to get back into that. Have some extra paintbrushes and palette knives and things like that. Now, this is where it gets a little bit hoardery and a little bit messy, but I kind of need everything that's here. Um, this is where I store kind of scraps of cardboard or old boxes that I can use for shipping because I try to reuse materials as much as I can and not just waste new cardboard boxes. Um, again, more rulers because just need those. Um, 
These are some paintings in progress that I need to add embroidery to in all different neon colors. Um, and then this basket, I keep plastic bags for when I need to transport paintings and deliver them. Um, and then these, if you haven't seen, are my large prints. Um, the larger sizes are 20 by 20 and 24 by 24. So these are 20 inch prints and they come in these cute little white tubes with my EKS label and a little um, image of which print it is. And those are also on my website and in my Etsy shop. Okay, now we're getting to the really fun stuff. So today I'm actually working on a custom piece. And so this is where, I mean, this is like a pretty small table as you can see, but this is where I make all of my art, no matter the size. Um, and it's actually, again, Ikea um, sawhorses and then just like a door on top and it works really well. So sometimes um, it's, I'll clear off the canvas and it's just my space for mixing color and prepping the paint. And then when it's time to paint, I clear all of this out, roll out the canvas and get to painting. So you can see I mix up the color, I test it out on paper, I test it out on canvas also because it looks completely different when you actually put it on canvas. So it's really important to be able to see, um, to be able to see accurately what it will look like in the finished painting. This is just kind of a pile of old work. There's some paintings that are actually available on my Etsy site. There's old sketches that I just want to hold on to for myself. And then this is one of my proudest organizational moments. Um, I managed to keep, I don't know, 20, 30, 50, I'm not great at estimating numbers, um, but basically tons of paintings. Um, these are finished paintings with the paint and the embroidery that are rolled up. Um, and then I just keep them on this built-in and then on these shelves in here. So this is where everything gets stored. Oh, and then at the top, I keep clean canvas that I need for making. Um, so you can tell I really like get into the storage and like make the most of the space. Oh, and then these are actually one of my favorite things I've ever made. Um, I don't know if I'll ever make them again because it's just kind of like time consuming and it's not really something I am so interested in anymore, but um, these are some like almost pottery pieces that I made out of paper pulp and then I painted them. Um, this one is one of my favorites because it just has this like amazing cotton candy like fairyland color that I love. Um, there's some more embroidered paintings in the back. Oh, and this one's really fun. This is another paper piece. So those just kind of hang out up there. One thing I didn't show you guys is what's going on under the table. Um, just kind of like shoving more things wherever I need storage. There's some paint colors I have mixed up, um, a box of mailing tubes, which I always need more of. And then this is where I keep um, a lot of paint colors that I have mixed and ready to go um, if I need them for new pieces. And then I have some brushes, some art books. Um, oh, this I got from a show in LA um, from Dabs Mila. I don't know if it's Dabs Mila or Dabs Mila, but they are like my favorite artists. It's just this Australian couple and they are geniuses. Oh, and then this is one of my favorite storage tricks. I found this um, like mail organizer thing at Ikea for $5 and I'm using it to store my thread. So as you can see, this area is a bit of a mess, but it's supposed to be like blues and greens down here, reds and purples here, and then kind of like orange, yellow, tan, brown all at the top. So I think I've showed you everything. That is the very grand tour. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.